Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's National Tesla Nagar. I'm here at Everything Electric, fully charged life, premium electric show. And behind me is the car, which is gathering a lot of eyeballs, particularly amongst those who are sports car enthusiasts. This is the Audi RS e-tron GT. I have a full drive video for you, and we're going to go through all details of this car as well. If you love an Audi and you are a sports car fan, this is one of the cars you definitely have to check. Definitely gathered a lot of eyeballs here at the show. Let's see all about this in this video. Without further ado, let's do this. All right, right off the bat, I'll say this. This is an absolutely gorgeous electrified masterpiece from Audi, and it comes from the same pedigree of cars called the Audi Sport Vehicles, which are made for sport car lovers. And this is an electrified version of the same. It shares the same platform as its close cousin, the Porsche Taycan, but it also undercuts the cost. We'll talk about all that. Now, when you look at the front profile of the car, you can see it's a low car, mean looking. It does have a small grille, which is an air intake as well. The familiar Audi rings. The Matrix headlamps, which also does a little bit of gimmicks when you turn on, turn off the car, which sort of wraps to the side of the vehicle and a very cool looking front bumper. The front bumper can be individually stylized as well and pretty cool. At the under surface of the front grille, just below the tag, you can see that all the LiDAR and all the sensors are there for your navigation as well. Now, the rear of the vehicle is equally gorgeous too. You can see the wider rear complements the meaner, smaller front. It has a single LED strip in the middle which expands to paddle-like LED rear lights, which marginally wrap to the wider back as well, adding to the gorgeousness of this vehicle. The sloping back with the Audi rings add to the luxury quality and feel. The only thing I don't really like is that undersurface. It's got a plasticky finish to that undersurface grille. Maybe that can be wrapped for someone who wants that. Maybe a carbon fiber wrap or even a carbon fiber replacement to this would be amazing. Now, when you come to the side of the vehicle, it is clearly seen that this is made for aerodynamics. The sloping rear arches and the low profile of the vehicle give it a drag coefficient of just 0.24. Okay, let me do one more time the sidewalk to show you the side profile of the vehicle. And you can see the two alloy wheels as well. In this particular RS version, there are the 21 inches alloy wheels, which is called the double spoke five star design. This is in silver but you can have the same thing in black as well. So if you're going for an all black vehicle, why not just go all in on the black? Okay, there are two sets of chargers, one on the left side, which is the CCS2 port. And I must add, the car does come with six years of ChargeFox subscription. And on the right hand side is the AC charger or the type two charging port, which is there. And the car does come standard, I believe, with 7.2 kilowatts AC charging for single phase but they do sell other chargers all the way up to 22 kilowatt chargers for AC charging at home, including domestic plug as well as industrial plug chargers. So that is something that Audi is offering. Audi does offer two variants. One is the RS e-tron GT, which I'm showing you right now, but there is also a lower price version, which is the e-tron GT. Now I'm saying lower priced, but this is the price of the e-tron GT. It is an expensive vehicle, $198,575 ex New South Wales. Now, a quick look at the specs though. It is a 93 kilowatt hour battery, an 800 volt architecture, a top speed of 330 kilometers per hour, and with an acceleration of 0 to 100 at 4.1 seconds, a superb torque of 630 Newton meters, and a power of about 440 kilowatts. It has a quattro drive train. Whereas the RS e-tron GT is a masterpiece. I know it does come at $270,710 ex New South Wales, but look at this, an acceleration of zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.3 seconds, with a top speed of 330 kilometers per hour. This is a super duper performance oriented vehicle having a torque of 830 Newton meters. All right, let's alight into the vehicle and see the interiors. A rather traditional looking door handle there. And while you enter into the car, a subscription to the channel will be absolutely monumental. I do a lot of EV reviews. Now let's jump in. Right off the bat, you can see that this is not a minimalist design. 
but it definitely screams quality. You can see that a delta-shaped steering wheel is there with lots of tones and finishes, including piano black, which is a rather fingerprint magnet. But like I said, quality indeed. Let's look at that super, super thud, isn't it? A satisfying thud for sure. One more time. That is a great sounding vehicle and it's super silent as soon as you enter inside. Behind the steering wheel, there is one screen for the driver display and the infotainment screen is on the left. Like I said, this is not a minimalist design. It's a tough, sturdy looking, sturdy feeling steering wheel with the Audi symbol in the center and horn and then loads and loads of stocks. And there is also a paddle shift. The stocks are for turning on and turning off the indicators, turning on and turning off the uh, wipers as well as turning on turning off the vehicle as well to some degree and adjusting the steering column all of that has talks it is not a digital design although you can do a few things from the infotainment screen but look at the paddle shift the paddle shift is important in this vehicle particularly because that is where the region mode can be set there are three levels of region and they can be set through the paddle shift and they really really are good do not miss the driving test towards the end of this video. So you can skip to the end if you want to see the driving test. And that is the paddle shift. The right side paddle shifts will reduce the region, whereas the left side paddle shifts will turn on or increase the region. Now, there is a three-tone finish to the vehicle, as you can see. Loads and loads of carbon fiber. And there is also a moon roof, which adds to the quality. That e-tron moniker on the piano black is there. Yes, the panel plaque does take a fair bit of cleaning. It is a fingerprint magnet, but it is super gorgeous. The leather is high quality. The stitching is high quality. Like I said, absolutely screams quality. There is a heads-up display over there. And this is what the front dash looks like. Let's move to the sides with the silver finishes for the door handles and traditional buttons with memory. And this is the rear as well. Super gorgeous indeed. Let's jump into the rear. Now, this is not a family vehicle by any stretch of the imagination. Me being a large man, I don't even want to test this. With the front driver's seat pushed all the way to the back in a driving position, I can barely even get in. Uh, but there is a driving test where my friend did jump in. You can see that there is no rear screen. It's only a traditional looking uh, and feeling air vent there. But again, gorgeous quality for sure. Before we do the drive test, I want to jump back into the front to show you the center console. Uh, it does have piano black as the finish. The cup holders are there and behind the cup holders is a smaller box to keep some knickknacks. And you can see it there. That is the media control button to pause, play and so on and so forth. The gear selector is over here with the parking brake. And there is a start stop button there too. Right next to the start stop button is a place to keep your phone and there are traditional buttons to control the air vents uh, and the uh, HVAC and so on and so forth. When you come down a little bit, there is no digital HVAC. It is a traditional looking HVAC control and a traditional looking HVAC. And there is some buttons there which are sort of capacitive buttons to control some of the modes. I'll show you that in the driving test that's coming up next. On the side, there is the buttons for the uh, headlamps as well to raise and lower the headlamps and the traditional buttons to have memory for your seat too. You can have two memory there. Normal looking, traditional looking uh, controls for controlling the windshield and the uh, side uh, mirrors as well. Now let's do the drive test. Oh, nice You're thought that one. Yes. Yeah. Put the seatbelt on. Just make sure your mirrors are not out as well. Mm -hmm. So whenever okay. you're ready, just pop the slider all the way into drive. So foot on the brake and push that back. Sure. Perfect. And then start to turn the steering wheel. Nice. Yep. I like this. This. It's a nice cockpit, isn't it? Yeah, it's a yeah. big cockpit. Yeah. And, and I love the, uh, the, carbon. the carbon fiber finish mm -hmm. and the two tones. Oh, actually, three tones. Gray, carbon yep. fiber, black. Yeah. The piano black. It, it is a fingerprint magnet, but it's still, still awesome. Yeah. No. And then we're all good to go. Um, okay. So yeah, you did the review on our Q8 a couple of years ago. That's right. Nice. Um, what do you think of the Q8, the EV Q8? The, the previous EV was good, but now they've improved a fair bit and it has, has a much more rounded car now. Mm -hmm. And it's got more uh, uh, more luxury going into it. Yeah, no, 
Yes, well, this one, obviously, um, you know, a little bit about this car. This is our uh, GTRS, so it's our top of the line flagship model car. Mm -hmm. um, we also do have a base model of this car as well, which is just the non Iris version. Mm -hmm. um, the Iris, a couple of stats about it, this is a 93 kilowatt battery, so okay. it's actually a little bit smaller than the QH. So, 93 kilowatt hour battery, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. correct. Um, in terms of what that gives you range on paper, it's in between 450 to 90 kilometers uh -huh. on the range. Right here. Um, I think realistically you'll get somewhere between mid 400s. Mid 400s, yeah. Um, and that obviously just depends on how you drive and, and all that sort of stuff. Well. Certainly. Taking this left, hey? Left, yep. Um, same as the Q8 with the regen. So our regens are on the, on the panels. panels. Okay. Yeah, so we okay. have two clicks. So if you go like one, two, yeah. two options, yeah. yeah, if you go one click on the left, it's a 50% level of regen. Uh -huh. And then that second click is 100% regen. Great. And so it's. And that's already at 100% at the moment. Uh -huh. And so, I can reduce that with the yeah, right stock, isn't correct. it? Correct. So stay in the lot lane. Good. So feel free to give it a little bit of a Wow, that Sorry. is <laughs> something. <laughs> It's pretty good. That is something. That is. Something. We're going to be heading up onto the motorway, so you'll definitely have an opportunity to, to, to flow it right down. Yes, yeah. yes. yes. Uh, um, yeah, so that, that's our regen. It's not like a massive feel that's um, right. with regen. Mm -hmm. Unlike the Q8, the Q8's a little bit more harsher than what this Indeed. Um, this, is, this is meant to be a sports vehicle, and yeah, so. Correct. It yeah, is, it is, is definitely uh, our performance sort of that's right. side. Um, yeah. Everything else in terms of this will turn white just red. Um, all of our MMI system is identical, um, I wouldn't say all identical, but it's pretty much a very similar layout to every other Audi that we have um, on the market. So uh -huh. it's not your real minimalistic look, True. it's you've got a few buttons and yep. not much as a personal preference. It is, it is. Um, some people like a minimalistic look, some people like to have screens and buttons. And of course, buttons. yeah, there, there are people who have either aspired to get an yeah. RS in the past, uh, yeah. some RS form of, of Audi, mm -hmm. and they, they're like, oh, now the the, the, uh, the whole thing has shifted towards EV. Yeah. Let me look at an EV option, and this will be the car they'll want to do, yeah, because correct. they probably yeah. have been salivating on this interior and the cockpit and the, and the, and the luxury correct. and the fit and finish. Yeah, correct. And then they didn't have the aptitude to get it at that time, or they didn't mm -hmm. have the, the means, or whatever it was, or they were still on on the fence on about whether the EV is going to take over or not. And now is the time yeah. where they want an EV, but they want a, a, a sports EV at that, mm. and 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 the and the, and an Audi with the RS moniker, isn't it? That is that is something of a prestigious thing as well. Yeah, right? no, yeah. it's it's absolutely, and you're pretty much bang on there. So um, yeah, no, it's it's really good in my opinion. So um, a couple of other things as well. Uh, obviously, we do have different modes. RS models that we have, and that's done by our Drive Select by the mm -hmm. uh, So we're currently in our comfort. We have we have four options: efficiency, we have dynamic, um, and our individual modes where you can basically manually change uh, your drive system, oh, right. suspension, uh -huh. sound profile, like that artificial sound and all yeah. that. Um, and then dynamic. The only thing that probably the most um, recognizable is the throttle response. It's quite a lot more um, quicker. Like as soon as you plant your foot on the yeah. throttle, you'll just take off yeah. even more. Um, and then launch the, is much better. With yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then obviously the suspension, it just sort of starts to stiffen up just a little bit. You might not be able to True. feel it massively on the road. So yeah. if you take this out to a racetrack, for example, um, you can feel it quite a lot. So yeah. we'll stay in this left lane and we'll just keep on sure. the road and you can have a little bit of an opportunity to, um, to explore it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And just to remind the viewers, this is an artificial sound inside the car. And, and it's also mixed with a little bit of the road noise because everything else is super quiet. Um, and then, and this this is got a, uh, you get that, the feel of a sports car with the sound of a sports car as well. Otherwise, you know, uh, EVs are super quiet. Uh, some people who want to buy a, uh, an EV want to have that, that sound and the feel as well, so they probably like it. I believe you can disable the sound as well, isn't it? You can, yeah, and that right. just all comes down to uh, this price, like to yeah, right. um, which all that sound profile. Sound profile, yeah, profile. Yeah, and correct. you can check on all. Subdued, yeah, subdued balance, balance yeah. 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 I believe the balance is the one which which lets in audio from the from the road and the car. Mm -hmm. I believe that's how it is, isn't it? The, yeah. the balanced yeah. one it is, is between the two, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Correct. So, um, yeah, so like I said, you've got all, um, different options there. 
uh, in terms of your charging aspect, we actually have two ports mm -hmm. on the outside. So we have a port on the left hand side that's known for our fast charger. The CCS2? So, yeah. Um, and, and, and then the, the AC. Yeah, AC charger, the J1772 yeah. or the Type 2 chargers on the right yeah, side. Yeah, so that's you right, can, yeah. so, you know, at home, you can plug it in the wall charger and plug it at home, but we obviously know that charges at 7.2 kilowatts per hour, yeah. which mm -hmm. is basically plug on all. Mm -hmm. um, they say on paper it's 13 hours. Trickle charge, that's yeah, it, that's so, what it is. Yeah. 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 Um, and then uh, 11 kilowatt wall chargers and also 22 kilowatt chargers. So right. 11 kilowatt is, they say, about eight to nine hours. Right. And yeah. then 22, they say, let's call it three to four hours, depending. True. They're just giving that range from five percent to. And you guys sell all those three chargers as well, isn't it? So you can you can go from seven mm -hmm. to eleven to a twenty-two mm -hmm. kilowatt hour charger. That and then obviously, really. depending on you know if you're trying to plan a road trip or anything like that, um, whether it's fast chargers or anything like that, whether charge fogs or EV chargers or anything. Mm -hmm. Like and, and the new Teslas as well. The new yeah. Teslas are all now open. Uh, the new ones, the 250 kilowatt chargers, the new ones that have come up, they're now all opening up to non Tesla EVs as well. Uh, part of the, uh, uh, it, it's called the Arena program where, the, where they get some government funding. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they have to, at the very least, have two chargers in the Tesla chargers as well, earmarked to be used by any non Tesla as well. And now they're actually opening up in multiple spots. I'm from the Gong. And, and Wulongong has eight chargers. All of them can be used by both Tesla and non-Tesla EVs. It's a 250 kilowatt charger. I believe this is an 800, 800 volt architecture. So yeah, I, I can't answer. Well, I think I so too. Got the answer for it, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is an 800 volt architecture. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, the Tesla charge superchargers are not equipped to to handle 800 volt. But even even so, they are mighty fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we'll turn back at these lights here. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's pretty much gone through everything um, with the car. It's got all of your different um, camera angles. So we'll get to your 360 degree cameras, your front yeah. cameras, bird's eye view cameras, wow. um, rear vision camera. <laughs> um, yeah, you literally, you got everything here. So- We're spoiled uh, for choice. You are, yeah. So you shouldn't have any excuse to have a crash or anything like that when right. you're driving. So, Oops. <laughs> um, yeah, there's radars and there's sensors all over the yeah. shop as well. So yeah. you're in- Definitely. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? There, there's a LiDAR at the very bottom, and then there are cameras at the bottom as well in the, uh, you in the front. You can visually see it um, as well. So. Oh, can, can we actually act activate the, uh, the not, No, not from here when we're um, parked. Park, park. Yeah. Absolutely, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And, and the navigation system is here. Mm -hmm. uh, does this have Android Auto and, yes. and CarPlay yeah, as well? It is it wireless or wired, would you know? It's wireless. It's wireless, it's that's true. great. It's so many cars have a wired Android yeah, Auto and CarPlay. Can be a bit Annoying. It can be quite annoying, I must say. Yeah. And so charging is charging. There's no wireless charge charging pad. in here, okay. but you've got your USB USB C. C. Okay. Um, you got two plugs in there. Okay. Well. Cool. How are you finding the drive? It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Well, I'm staying that left lane with you. And how are you finding it in the back there? All it's right? it's pretty good. Not too bad with the leg room. Leg room is well. it, it, it's if if I had if he was sitting right up front, right up. I wouldn't say it's a typical family car. It's, it's not. not it's, it's not. It's I think not if meant anyone's going to buy something like this, they're buying it purely because it's a performance car. Isn't it is they're certainly only taking themselves and their wife or husband or a partner or whatever. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So pretty much this next left on the ramp. Um, up to Sydney and yeah there's this is a ramp so there's no cameras here or anything like that there's just a toll but that's, that's all good so feel free to jump in that far or whichever lane is free and then feel free to stay in this lane actually yeah, this lane's good and feel free to ping it bang oh holy cow that is <laughs> awesome it's pretty sweet isn't it it literally it's like totally... if you don't have your head placed back in the front it's literally whiplash <laughs> yeah this is, this is a bit oh, I felt that on the back of my head <laughs> Definitely, it's definitely got the power there, that's for sure. Um, we're talking zero to 100 in 3.3 3 3 seconds. Yeah. Wow, that is yeah. that is sweet performance. I should look up the, the CD, I can't remember the, the drag coefficient of this car, but I, I heard it just really, really on the low numbers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in terms of, um, they say on paper, if we're, you know, when you look at a combustion engine with how many meters it burns per 100k, we're talking about 20, what, 20.2? Kilowatts per 100 k's. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's hard to know what that compares to with the rest of the market, but that's spot out of your lane out. True, true. Left lane. Yeah, yeah. And left. Yeah, and then 
and um, pretty much going to do a couple more left turns and then we're back home. Next. Beautiful. So, I must say, this is an impressive, impressive uh, sports vehicle. It is for a sports vehicle fan. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah for sure. It's not, it's yeah. not, we'll go to the next one. You can still make it like your family car if Absolutely. they really wanted to, yeah. but it's not directly pointed to that type of niche yes. market. Yeah, this is a niche market car. It and, is, yeah. yeah. It's, and for the, for the, it's bang for the buck. You, you, you pay a lot, but you get what you pay for. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, is it, it's um, basic. It's very much identical to our Porsche Taycan. Yeah. I forgot to take a video of the... <laughs> Oh, this should have it don't on the. Uh... But yeah, so it's pretty much uh, closer to the three hundred mark. Our uh, GT, our base GT spec is more down where the two hundred mark is. Mm -hmm. They say, I want to say it's probably about yeah, bang on. They're saying two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that that's pretty much everything to it. So this is a great vehicle. It oh, is. It is. Really love the really the nice. the. Uh... Power and as we call it, on top with as we call it, mm -hmm. it really good. Yeah. 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 It's very peaceful. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It is. When you're driving, like, and then you'll notice that we'll have a couple of light beeping and like and a 360 camera. Yeah. Like, 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 so oh, always. It's amazing what technology is. Yeah. That is right. The bird's eye view on the 360. And, 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 Perfect. That's it. Perfect. Awesome. And then just push that P. Park, park. park and handbrake as well. Perfect. And then just push and then that to stop. stop. That's it. We're done. Thank you very much, mate. Very kind of you. Yeah.